multi-directional cameras what they are what they do and why are they growing so much in popularity more and more we see them on the market so what's the fuss about them right honestly i always find this technology it's curious for me and also it's super interesting because when we look at something like this one well it's pretty big so it, it's something i find interesting because in multi-directional cameras it means that you have the same housing for generally two cameras, three cameras, or even four cameras like this big one. And it makes it cost effective for the installers because then you're only using one cable, you only have one accessory, and you're covering a 360 degree uh, angle when you compare it to the same installation that you would need for four other cameras. It's kind of a, a good question to ask what's better, multi-directional cameras or the regular cameras that you install. So today we're gonna show you what exactly it means to have multi-directional cameras, what they do. And we also call them multi-sensor cameras. And more particularly, we will focus on this camera. So I showed you the big one, but this one is the latest release from Anwa Vision, which is their mini four megapixel multi-directional camera with AI. So as you can see in comparison, I'll try to pick this one up too, but yeah, it's much smaller. All right, let's get to it. Starting with the main advantage of the multi-directional cameras. You have one housing with four cameras in it and you're only using one cable which again makes it really easier when we're talking about the installation. And one cable also means one IP address. So when you're doing all the programming, it makes your life easier. And installation is all about being time effective and cost effective. So it's a great advantage to have. And not only that, so this is an Anwa Vision camera. So if you want to enroll it on their VMS, so let's say the Wave VMS from Anwa, you only need one license. So again, when you compare it to four cameras like this one, eh, you kind of see the winner here because with one license, you have all the features inside rather than buying four licenses for each camera. Now we're gonna talk about other multi-sensor cameras. So if we're talking about two cameras inside the housing, three cameras, and what are the advantages? But to kind of illustrate this, we're gonna go to the magic board. So starting with the two-channel multi-sensor, again, multi-sensor and multi-directional are the same type of camera, it's just a different name. What's the base, best case study for using such cameras? A good example is the L-shaped corridor. So that means that if you have a corridor with two angles like this one, so people can come towards here and they can go towards there or vice versa, come towards here and go towards there. Well, using your multi-sensor camera, so you install it in the corner here, you're able to cover both sides. So without having any blind spot, except if someone goes right there on the corner and sits there for a while. But this camera, again, saves time on your installation, and only with this, well, you cover all the corridors that are here. So simplifying your installation. Now, if we go towards the three-channel camera, it's a good example when we're talking about reception. So now we have the two angle, but if I create a corridor right here, so I remove these walls, like so, and I will add them here. Well, as you can see here, nothing is covered. So this is where the three channel comes into play. So in that case, literally it will add a lens to your camera and then I'm covering this angle too. So we have this lens covering the right, this one up, this one center. It's for a receptionist, this is a good example because they're usually against a wall. So if you have the desk here on the corner, well, everything is covered above their head and they're able to monitor everything that is happening in front of them. So again, no blind spot. And now the four channel camera, and again, this is my favorite and this is the one we're gonna use as an example today. So you have your camera in the middle and what is nice is you have literally four lenses. So every lenses cover a side and it creates a 360 degree angle. So literally no blind spot. Wherever you install your camera, 
you cover every side of the environment. So if you're in a warehouse, if you're in an hallway, if you're in big places, well, this does the job better than installing four cameras to cover every angle. Not only that, but you're able to move the lenses to be able to cover more ground on the, underneath the camera, or if you want to go uh, in higher sides, so being able to cover longer distances. And now with the mini camera that we have, so the Marty Directional from Anwa, we're gonna see how this works with the physical build of it. So let's go back to the table. To be able to show you how the four lenses work, so inside this Anwa camera, well, we need to disassemble it. So we need to remove everything and then we can play with the lenses to show the different angle and how you can cover everything from there using a multi-directional camera. So with this particular camera, well, you have a small gap underneath, so you need to twist the cover and you will be able to pop it right out right after this. So easy to do and then well, you have the tool required inside the box. So when you buy your camera, you have a tool. I have my small pocket screwdriver right here. So I'm able to remove the screws really fast for you guys. So it's only a matter of seconds. And at the same time, this is also where you can put your UTP cable. So this is a network camera again. So you're able to put it through the hole and connect your camera for power. Yes, so I remove the cover. And here we have the lenses. As you can see, and I'm gonna all point them towards the top because I think it's nice to see them like this. And also because you have an indication on the camera. So here we have the channel one, channel two, channel three, and channel four. So every camera is indicated right here. And again, you can slide them over. So there is a rail mechanism on this camera. So if you need to move the cameras, well, you can choose the right angle you need. So I can move them as much as I want with any channels that I want. So if I want my camera to cover more this type of angle, well, I can move my camera like this. So now I'm pointing in that direction. And now I want to cover more long distances. So I can put them like this. So put them down. And as you can see, well, now my lenses, they point toward the front. And now I will point toward, towards you to keep an eye on you. So all cameras looking at you directly in the eye. So as you can see, it's a simple mechanism, making it really easy to use, really easy to install. And inside this build again, well, you can move them all around as you wish. Now that the camera is open, why not talk about the features? Because honestly, this camera got me really curious when we got our hands on it and I wanted to discuss it with you guys since it's a new release. So first off, again, we have our four lenses that are four megapixel cameras. They're all fixed lens. And one nice feature, again, about multi-directional cameras is that when you have AI, like in this case, the AI applies to each channel. So on this camera, let's say on the channel three camera, I can have phase detection. On this channel, so it's channel two, I can have a uh, person detection, so a body movement. On the channel four, is it the right one? Channel four, so this one. I can have trip wire. Here I can have license plate. So with the AI from Anwa, I'm able to trigger everything from each channel. So it doesn't have to be all the same detection feature on all the cameras. So making it really customizable for your project. And not only that, but Honestly, the sheer size difference. So I'm gonna move this away and bring back our big boy on the table for you to see how big of a difference that makes. And honestly, if you're an installer, it can be challenging installing this versus this, simply because of the size, right? So making it lighter, easier to install is great, but not also that, but for the projects that you have. So having a smaller camera like this one is perfect when we're talking about hospitals installation, when we're talking about schools, when we're talking about retirement homes where you want to keep the security and safety of the people, but you don't want your camera to act like a deterrence factor. And when you see this, eh, it can be scary, but when you see this one, it makes more sense. It's, it goes with the background, you don't see it as much. And with this feature, so 
when you compare it with the other ANWA camera because they have a lot of inventory that applies to a multiple type of projects, so everything is covered. But this one, it just makes the multi-directional uh, technology accessible to everyone. Because with the fixed lens, well, you don't necessarily need a motorized lens. You don't necessarily need a 4K resolution for your camera. So making it smaller in size, removing the features that you don't necessarily need, but keeping the important ones such as the AI and being able to move your camera, having the IR for the night vision. And also if I move some lenses around, well, it also revealed that you have uh, local storage on your camera. So if you look here, well, I have two slots for micro SD cards. So keeping these feature makes it a great camera for multiple projects with this technology. So instead of buying four cameras, you use this and it makes the most sense at all. I always find that really funny because uh, we, we spoke with some product managers from Anwa, the latest ISC West. You can look in the screen on the description below. We'll link you to this interview. They were great, by the way. And they always take feedback from the installers. So this is one application that applies that the installers were having trouble with these cameras also because they are more expensive. So when we're talking about, like I mentioned, the other Anwa cameras, so multidirectional, they have PTRZ cameras. So they have motorized lens that you can control remotely, but maybe that's not what you need. So having this feedback, they created this mini version of multidirectional cameras and well, it turns out to be great. So now we're actually gonna look at how the AI work and how to set it up inside the different channels for you to use in your own project. All right, so now we're inside the web interface for this specific camera. We're not gonna go through all the settings. If you want more information, we made a video on how to navigate through the web viewer of Anwa cameras. It's all the same if you have a different camera to go towards it. So now we're gonna jump right away in the WISE AI, which are the analytics for this camera. The reason why I think showing is better than just explaining. So when I was mentioning that every single camera have its own channel, well, that's why I wanna show you right now. So on the screen, as you can see, you have four channels above. So I can choose every camera. So now I'm done channel one, channel two. So you see my face, channel three and channel four. So for this example, I'm just gonna go back to channel two. So it's more entertaining to see my face. And as you can see here, well, you have all the analytics. So you can do the person, face, vehicle, whatever detection you need on each single camera, again, by selecting it. And this channel will do the person detection. This channel will do the face detection. And if you go on the side, it's the same thing if you wanna place a line crossing for a single channel. And the same thing if you wanna do appearing, disappearing object. So you select your zone inside your lens, so inside your channel that is inside the camera, and boom, you have it. Every analytics is chosen, perfect for your projects. So again, it's all about being customizable for your projects. So instead of doing it for all four cameras, so opening them up, different IP address, only one IP address, you connect it, you go through the software, and you're able to do all the analytics right there. And by the way, if you want to learn how to set up the AI on your camera to be able to see my face right here and have some alarms and lights, well, leave a comment below. We'll explain you exactly how to do this when you have any AI, so wise AI from Anwa cameras, how to set it up and how it works. Well, I guess they were right when they mentioned it was 65% smaller. <laughs> the difference is quite striking when you look at it this way. I hope you enjoy having our review on the four megapixel, four lenses, AI, mini multi-directional cameras. We're gonna remove this generic one to leave place to the star. We always love doing these kind of review. We did one about the solid edge technology from Anwa because they are one of these manufacturers that always come up with new solutions to help the installers for their projects. So creating accessibility, for example, again, with this small camera that is able to have multiple angle of viewing while keeping the AI. So if this is the kind of video you like, well, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button, and this way you will be sure to never miss a single new release on this market. All right, guys, see you on the next one.